the Christian game is all over the place most people that call themselves Christians they can play the game whenever they feel like you know when they get tired of it they put it away uh, in the corner and then they go do what they want to do then you know just whenever they feel like playing it they put it, put it back on you know they come back to playing you know and then it's fun you know it's a lot of fun you know you can do this and that and and then we can go back and do something else you see this is what most Christianity is where we go to these these churches that are just entertainment halls um, giving people things that they want to hear that are sold to the world submitted to the world and people receive them because it helps them to 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 gain the kingdoms of the world you know that's that's what uh, that's what it it helps you know so if if you're making more money it's going to help them they want that then you're blessed you know so they tell you all these motivational things to motivate you to go and make money motivate you to do this and motivate you to look good in the eyes of the world in fact those are the greatest christians are some of the athletes and celebrities and all these kind of things you know but but uh, in 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 the eyes of god these people are just filth you see because of the things that they're doing you see the, 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 a person who is esteemed high in the eyes of God is a humble person is a person that does not sin is a person that is overcoming you see it's not a cocky arrogant person who is exalting the flesh and 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 and, and promoting the flesh and the things of this flesh see this is as Rome we're promoting the gladiator we're promoting the mighty men we're promoting the you see and that's that's what the Christians uh, 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 that's what they're doing you know pride is is the new humble <laughs> this is the new humility actually it's not even pride it's it's such an it's such an arrogance you know that that's that uh, with flared nostrils and this, you see that that it's just unbelievable. They call that humility. You find pre people saying they they don't they don't believe in suffering. They don't believe that Christians have to be this and and they don't have to uh, uh, go through anything. My friends, these are all lies. Just like the way corporate America has sold three minute apps, they are selling you three minute Christianity. That's what they're doing. You see. Or on the contrary, they're selling you uh, 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 steroids or steroid Christianity. See where your character, where your you 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 look good on the outside, but on the inside you're dead. You see, they're feeding you all these uh, these plans and twelve step and fifteen step and thirty step and Christian counseling and psychology and all these kind of things. The problem with it is it's not so much all these things is that nothing God does not submit to any of those things it's those things that have to submit to God then you start to realize that God you cannot define God it's God who will give you the definition it's God who's going to give you see so if you look at the Christian circus today uh, you see all the different uh, varieties that are clones you see of the world See, so pretty much we just should, we, we, they're Christian, they're, they're, they're just clones. These churches are manufacturing clones. See, they're not real. You see? They don't come from the heart. It's all just a game. It's all just uh, mechan mechanized. You see? That's what it is. It's just a mental process. And an action according to a mental process with no understanding. You see? because it doesn't birth in the heart because there's that synthetic layer in the hearts of people that has to be broken first and that synthetic layer of cement which where the, all the wires are uh, it, it, it's going to be very painful you see and that's what people don't want because they don't know a life outside of that synthetic living and they have a Christian synthesized Christianity you see 
that exists within those wires in their heart that's on the layer of their heart that where nothing can go in only the wires that they want in to your heart pleasures and pursuit of materialism and all these kind I am God syndrome you know and all these kind of things that are attached to your heart those are the only ones they allow see and that's the problem because with, with when you follow in Jesus Christ my friends that whole cement synthetic layer has to be torn to shreds and your whole way of thinking has got to completely be rebooted redone you see because this you you cannot have this kind of synthesized synthetic christianity owned by by what by greed by mammon by lies by covetousness by greed by sin hmm? by pleasures all these manufactured diseases psychological and physical why because you are submitted to a system in which you are trying to interpret everything else see you cannot be submitted to anything but the Spirit of God who will guide you into all truth see and then the relationship with the Spirit of God is defined by that same synthetic system you see it's defined by by so and so who's a slave to that synthetic he's, he's getting money from that system you see so he's going to define a way in which to promote the system a doctrine to promote the system you see there are many doctrines that people have come up with to promote their own position so that they have houses and cars and or chariots and horses and abodes in this world you see and then they make you eat that by quoting scripture and this and that to justify your position but you never you had no relationship with the spirit of god you see because your heart is dysfunctional all these wires attached to your heart you know cement and all these kind of things you know it needs to be broken and then you start realizing what truth is what it's all about you see then you cannot depend on your own strength anymore but you have to depend on Jesus Christ on the Spirit of God you see you gotta suffer you gotta learn to be obedient you gotta overcome many things ways of thinking sin all of it has to be thrown out you see and it's no longer a game anymore because it's life and death spiritual life spiritual death physical life physical death all of it it's all there see so you have to learn to die to the flesh in order to enter into the consuming fire and that's what people don't realize you see they've been told that hey you know we're free we free by the grace of God we free in Christ you know we can do whatever we want we can say whatever we want you know that's why you have in 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 in, uh, in, in this country you have uh, a Christianity that is enslaved to social theories to all kinds of it's a black church white church Pentecostal church evangelical Meth uh, uh, Episcopalian or whatever all the different kind of church for aliens church for 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 dogs and church for cats it, it doesn't matter it's all the same it's where it's going you see and then we all they all claim to be worshipping Jesus Christ following him you see but the common thing among all those places is that they all want kingdoms in this world they all want uh, the, 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 the world they, they're all filled with sin you see playing games entertainments all kinds of things like that you see you have a uh, you have the real for example you you have a uh, 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 for take for example a Christian uh, 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 a secular psychologist like Jung or Freud or these guys they, they were hearing voices you know they had dreams they, they, they were very obsessed with dreams and the interpretation of dreams you see so on one side they were they were in another realm that most human beings are not then they wrote down many things that became uh, conventional thinking you see but most people they, they uh, the, the Christians copy and paste and use some Christian jargon here and there and then they call themselves a Christian this or Christian that Christian musician Christian psychologist Christian 
therapist, Christian um, uh, uh, athlete. You see? So the thing is that you need to know the truth. And then you realize that at the end, these things, you cannot be all these things. At the end, you need to be defined by God, by Jesus Christ only. That's the only way forward. You see? It's what, he is the mighty counselor. You see? He is the way forward. See, you read Isaiah and all these people, they talked about the coming of a, a mighty counselor. Who is that? You know? Who is that counselor? Do we receive counsel from him or are we going to Sigmund Freud and, 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 and some of the modern um, psychologists and psychiatrists and all these other people? You know? Or are we going to the, the, the one that's even, even, even less? Uh, it was the Christian versions of things, they, like the Christian music videos. I would rather watch the the worldly one, because they're being honest, than to watch the the, the half and halves, you know. So that's the thing, you know. That's the thing, and 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 uh, it's 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 really it's a sad thing to see what's going on in Christian, what they call themselves, Christians. You know, in the churches, I worked for church organizations. I worked for, I saw what this so-called uh, Christian counseling. I was, uh, I studied psychology in uh, in the Christian university. I studied business and I studied psychology. And uh, at the end of it, all that stuff is irrelevant to me. It's irrelevant. You know, some of my, uh, you know. The, the the heads of the department and people who I knew they, 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 you see the problem is that they, you don't get to know what's going on behind the scenes so when you make and you have a personal relationship with somebody they tell you what's going on in that place what what's happening if you know the author of the book as I have known authors of many books they tell me what is a, a story what is just fluff and what is the truth what I really need to know and what's really going on but people they read the book oh yeah well I read so and so's book and you know <laughs> it's not even it's just that book was made to sell that's all you see and then they, they get caught they start quoting the book that was made for selling you see well the reality of the whole thing is not even in the book it's just fancy it's a smoke screen and people get lost in the smoke screen you see that's the problem because it's all it's not serious it's because you're living that synthetic life that you don't know where it's coming from uh, stolen waters are sweet they corrupt so they blind you see all these intoxicating pleasures that you're being a part of all these screens all over the place and things flashing around and ooh look so good feel so good you know but at the end of it my friends when the smoke screen disappears you're gonna see the truth and by then the horror of it is going to be so great that I, I, I just can't imagine so you have to face those things now usually you find people seeking God in this country they've been through hardships they've been through some hard things that force them to realize you see but most people today, they are, they, they, they are lost in entertainments and pleasures. They are trying to interpret reality, what they using that entertainment and pleasures. They are trying to interpret things. See, find somebody shooting somebody else because he saw it in a video. That's what you do, or because his friends seen it in a movie. So now they're making that a reality. See, it's a game. And then that same person who shot somebody is going to be claiming Jesus Christ. You see? Or that same person who was doing all these kind of things, they're all claiming Jesus, oh, I'm a Christian. You see? He's taking drugs and snorting this and doing that, and but you're calling yourself a Christian because the churches have sold, they've sold, they've made Christianity so in such a deteriorated state that you can sell it to people and tell them, yeah, you're Christian, yeah, yeah. Everything's okay. Stop playing the game. 